Hello, welcome to Dun Girls Podcast. I'm your host, Justin. So today, uh, I'm doing a uh, comic book figure review. Usually, I don't... uh, Nowadays, I don't buy figures, but I was... uh, I, I was in business, I was doing business in town, and I passed by a collectible shop, so I figured, hey, why not pick up some stuff, which, this, I just have this here for, like, um, for comparison, because this is, like, my only other image figure I have right now, because, <laughs> like, uh, during my exodus from comics, uh, from the comic hobby, I gave away a lot of my figures, <laughs> So that's like the only image figure I kept, which, which this is Ripclaw from uh, Cyberforce, by the way. Which the longest I haven't, re- I didn't read any of the comics till recently. For the longest time, I thought this character was Japanese. <laughs> Apparently, he's Native American, <laughs> or at least in the comic book he was. I don't know if they if they race swapped him or something, but like yeah, he was like in the new comic he was like uh, Native American. So like stuff I picked up from the collectible shop was a couple DVDs and a figure. I picked up this movie, which is the first, I think, I uh, first anime film by Marvel, uh, made by Madhouse Studio. So you got, like, it's an uh, Iron Man cartoon, has Black Widow, War Machine, Hawkeye, and Norman Reedus from The Walking Dead and Boonock Saints as the voice of Frank Castle, Punisher, which in the second anime film they did, which was a Black Widow and Punisher film, they changed the character design completely to make him more buff. <laughs> yeah, so I thought that was weird, but yeah. Also, Nick Fury's in there. Second thing I picked up was this. Which is volume one of the 90s X-Men cartoon, which was a great show from back in the day. I paid 16 bucks for this. The other one I paid 6 bucks. Or 5 bucks. Uh, yeah, I paid like I think I paid like 13 bucks for this. Comes with 16 episodes. I thought decent price. So the figure I picked up was a Shadowhawk spawn figure from, I think, I can't remember what series it is. And in the back, you see other figures from the toy line. You even have the Max right there. Violator. Which, when I was at the shop, they also had Violator, uh, The Curse, Ninja Spawn, and uh, I think that was it. Yeah. You got Youngblood characters there. That's why I have the Youngblood comic there. Because you can see Youngblood comics uh, characters here. They also had Bad Rock. Which for the longest time I kept I kept calling him Bad Rock. But it's actually Bad, uh, Bad Rock. Yeah, so. Um, always kind of liked the Shadowhawk character design. Always wanted a figure of this guy. Uh, didn't know there was a spawn figure. I, like, when I tried to shop for a figure of this guy, the only thing I could find online was a statue. Like, a statue figure like this one. But this has, like, articulation. So, but it is basically a statue. Yeah. There's some swivel. But it's basically a statue. Yeah. What is cool about this figure, though, it is, like five to six inch so it is in scale of the guy like this figure here so you can like you know have it you know you can put it on your shelf right so i'm gonna open it up i'll I'll open it up on camera i could edit it but you know Comes with a little knife, little grappling hook, little grappling hook, which is supposed to go on his arm. Where it's supposed to go on his arm, I have no idea. But it's supposed to connect to his arm. Maybe he's supposed to hold it. I don't know. It's supposed to it says it's supposed to connect to his arm. So don't see how. 
Oh, I see. There's a little peg hole on the claw. Ah, that's where it goes. And the uh, knife is supposed to go on his leg. Which I just dropped it on the floor. Ah, shit. Oh, there. It fell by my foot, so it's not, bad. not a big deal. And there's a little clip on the gun to put on his right wrist. Oh, the stupid grappling hook <laughs> fired it so. So that's the figure out of the packaging. As you can tell, it's very top heavy. So good luck with all the weapons. Like how you're going to keep the, without a stand, how they expected you to keep that like standing, I don't know. Honestly. Let's put it. As you can see, he is to scale. With the statue figure. So that's nice. But like yeah. the, the By the way. If you if you haven't read the, con the Shadowhawk comic. Which, sorry let me just fix this. If you haven't read the Shadowhawk comic. He's like an African. He was an African American. District attorney. That was infect, which was uh, being up by thugs, infect, infected with a bad, uh, with a HIV positive blood, and became the first African American uh, HIV positive superhero. <laughs> which you know, I don't know. It sounds cool. The comic book sounds cool. Never got a chance to read it. Um, the packed characters from that packed comic book review I I did. They their their first appearance was in a Shadowhawk comic, so I need I need to pick up more uh, Shadowhawk comics because so, I am a fan of the Pact, even though they they kind of have a like um, low run. Do these guns move? Let me see. Oh, you can take the the guns on the the top don't move, but you can take the shoulder weapons off. Though you have a big ugly hole. Also, he has, like, a gun here. Doesn't come out, but, you know. You know, it's kind of cool. Articulation is the... the Wow, the, the legs are very stiff. <laughs> well, this is like a... Yeah, the legs are really stiff. It feels like they'll break if I try to move it. So, yeah, I'm not going to do that. But, uh, yeah. You got knee articulation... Arms can move up and down. You have elbow articulation. It's a 90s figure, so don't expect too much articulation. The head the head can swivel. Yeah. But yeah, the 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 legs pretty much all they would be able to do is move forward, but it feels like if I were to touch I if I were to touch them, they would break, so I'm not going to do that. Um The gun is too heavy. So the elbow can't. Maybe when this figure was new, it was it was strong. In, the joint was strong enough to lift this thing. But yeah, it it keeps wanting to go down. But honestly, dude, like the the figure looks cool without the articul. Sorry, without the guns, which doesn't even really need it. Cause the figure, this character didn't even have guns, by the way, if, if I remember correctly. The, 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 this shit is just, like, what Todd McFarlane added. Which, you know, like, the, all the gun, all the guns and the, all the guns and missile launchers and shit right here. Which, that, that's just, that doesn't do anything. It reminds me of, like, custom, like, if you ever watch the Bill Fighters Gundam show, where you have these characters that just customize their gun plot by just putting missile launchers, beam cannons, which these remind me of beam cannons, <laughs> big ass fucking guns, oh, so dumb, so dumb, but yeah, I don't know, I think it's a cool figure, I paid 20 bucks for this, 
in packaging. I was going to keep it inside the box, but after a couple days, I'm like, eh, fuck it, take it out. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, that's it for this uh, review. I think it's a cool figure, but, like, you know, I I don't know. The Shadowhawk design looks so cool. Which, this character was supposed to be a big deal back in the day, but, like, you know, it never happened. It was, like, you can't exactly make a cartoon look. <laughs> Uh, on a character who's like has AIDS or whatever. <laughs> oh man. Which they were. They well, there was like an episode of Captain Planet where you had like a Neil deGrasse, not Neil deGrasse, uh, Neil Patrick Harris play an AIDS uh, teenager with AIDS who was dating, who was dating a cheerleader and did not tell her <laughs> that he had AIDS, and he was supposed to be the victim in that episode. <laughs> Holy shit! But yeah, that's the figure I got. I don't know, I think it looks cool. If I were to pick up more Spawn figures, I would probably pick up an original Spawn. May, and maybe some Wetworks, I, Wetworks figures and uh, Youngblood figures. Because those look cool. But like, the overall Spawn villains, I don't really care to own any of them, to be honest. Yeah. Though like, you know, I don't know. Maybe, maybe one, maybe one clown... Because the clown, they did have a clown figure. And, like, it may be nice to have him. But, like, yeah. And, by the way, look how stupid, like, the mech spawn looks. They couldn't come up with a better design. <laughs> Holy shit. Yeah. It is what it is. Alright, guys. Peace. I hope you liked this video.